Hey guys, today I'm making agedashi tofu. It's fried tofu in tempura sauce. Very popular item at Japanese restaurants. It's fairly easy to make. I'm going to make it、um, in vegan style. So, no fish stock, no animal product. Here's the list of ingredients. We're going to use dashi, soy sauce, mirin, 5 to 1 to 1. That's the recipe for tempura sauce. We're gonna use half pack of tofu, cover it with potato starch, and then use daikon and scallions as garnish. The challenge for making it vegan is that usually dashi contains fish stock, so we're going to use dashi that has no animal product. So, for that, we're going to use this kelp dashi powder. There's not much English description for it. One thing to note when you're using these. Granulated or powdered dashi is that most of them contain MSG. This kelp dashi is basically comes from this dried kelp that I have a big bag of. Most typical Japanese dashi is a combination of bonito flakes and kelp dashi. But since we are not using any animal products, we are relying solely on. Kelp dashi. Alternative to making using kelp dashi is a dried shiitake dashi. You can use one piece of dried shiitake for about a cup of water, soak it for a couple hours or overnight. If you're not concerned about veganism, then there are many alternatives to making dashi. I'm showing a couple of examples of what I have at house. The first one was the bonito dashi powder. The second one, this brand Yuki, is、uh, known for not using chemical artificial flavorings. So, if you're concerned about MSG or other chemical flavorings, then that's a good brand. This one, Hondashi by Ajinomoto, is、uh, widely available. Also, they contain MSG. If you want to go all in on making dashi, you're going to use these dried fish flakes. The one I use has Bonito, tuna, and mackerel. And also, you can use anchovies and mix iron kelp, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Another great product is these concentrated soup bases. They already have dashi, soy sauce, and mirin mixed together. You just have to mix them in water.、Um, again, they also contain some chemical flavorings. Might make another video going more in depth about dashi in the future. So, again, we're gonna use this kelp dashi powder. The box doesn't really have any English,、uh, and of course, the English label is over the Japanese description of how much water to one package of powder. So, I'm peeling the label. Said 600 milliliters of water for one package of this powder. I'm not going to use 600 milliliters of dashi, I'll use the rest of dashi in the future for soups or noodles or something. They should keep in the refrigerator for at least a couple of days, if not for a week. So I'm just dissolving the powder in 600 milliliters of water. Shake them and they dissolve fairly easily. So that's dashi. For the video, I'm using half of 600 milliliters, so that's 300 milliliters. Like I said at the beginning, the ratio is 5 to 1 to 1. So for 300 milliliters of dashi, it's going to be 60 milliliters of soy sauce, which is four tablespoons, and 60 milliliters of mirin. I end up using only about half of this, so if you don't want to make any extra tempura sauce, 
I would suggest using 150 milliliters of dashi to 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, which is 30 milliliters, and 2 tablespoons of mirin. And as always, alternatively, if you don't have mirin, you can always use sake or any cooking alcohol and about one teaspoon of sugar. Now let's look at the rest of the ingredients. I'm using this farm tofu from Whole Foods. That's my potato starch. We're using scallions chopped and grated daikon radish about an inch. Again, if you're not concerned about veganism for garnish, you can also use these bonito flakes. They taste quite good. Now to cutting. First we're going to open the package of tofu. I'm only using half of this just for one person. I'm going to drain the tofu. If you open a package of tofu but don't want to use the whole package, the trick is to keep it in water, so in a tight container. Put the tofu in water, put the lid on, and they keep in the refrigerator. As long as you change the water every day or every other day, they should last at least a week. But make sure you change the water. Tofu has lots of water and that's what goes lancid. Also, we're frying the tofu and this water content is going to cause a bit of splashes. It could be a little tricky, especially if you're using farm tofu. Oh, by the way, you can use any type of tofu for this. I just prefer farm tofu to soft tofu. If soft tofu is your thing, it'll work perfectly. So what I do is I wrap it in paper towel and then put a little bit of weight on top of the tofu. Let it sit while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. This way, some of the water that's inside the tofu will drain out and it's not going to cause that much splashing. We're grating the daikon radish, so cut about an inch. Peel the skin off. You can use any grating tools you have. Cheese graters work. I have this plate with grating surface, so I'm going to use that. Just grate the whole thing. As you can see, there's a lot of liquid. So you want to drain the liquid. You don't want to make it too dry, but too wet, it's going to dilute the sauce. Scallions, you just chop desired amount. I have chopped scallions from the night before, so I'm just going to use that. Now we're going to coat the tofu with potato starch. Prepare a bat or whatever container and put enough potato starch. You want to put a good amount. I'm cutting this half of tofu into three pieces. I think three or four pieces over half. So if you're using a whole pack, about six to eight pieces is a, a good size. And you're gonna dump the cut tofu straight into potato starch and coat all sides. So all six sides and coat them well. That's going to be that uh, 
crunchy yet chewy skin of tofu that's a signature for agedashi now the prep work is finished so let's move to the stove and start cooking first i'm going to make the sauce so in a small saucepan or a small pot put the dashi five portion dashi one portion soy sauce one portion mirin and then just boil this up If you're using real sake or mirin with alcohol content, once it boils, you want to cook for about a minute to evaporate the alcohol content. And the sauce is done. Just let it sit while we fry the tofu. So use enough frying oil to cover the tofu pieces. And the frying temperature is about 340 to 350 Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius. And once the oil is heated, just gently put the tofu in the oil and let the oil cook the tofu for three minutes. At about halfway, you want to change the side that's the bottom. Now our three minutes is up, so take them out. Put the tofu in a bowl and grab the sauce that you cooked earlier that's still warm and pour a nice amount of sauce about half of the tofu is sitting in the sauce that's about a good amount Put the garnishment on top, the grated daikon and scallions in this case. And our agedashi tofu is ready. It was fairly easy to make. I made this vegan, so if you're vegan, you can enjoy this, although it's not chemical free. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.